thanks for coming out today. It's a nice big group. We've got five five people today. That's excellent. It is an art class at Brain Trust Canada, a place where participants can get together in a group setting and paint. Rhonda Peterson, a one-time artist herself, considers the class a form of therapy. Oh, I love it. I used to be an artist years ago. Not, you know, well-known, famous or anything, but I used to do a lot of art myself for my own enjoyment. And, and then I kind of lost that and, you know, hadn't done it for, for a while. And when they offered this, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. But they said, oh, you know, just come. It's for all abilities and, you know, it's just another way of being able to experience, you know, something new and pushing your brain in other ways to do something different. And so I thought, sure, you know, sound like fun. I like art. I saw from that painting that you guys were doing an amazing job on these big canvases. And so we're going to continue with that today on these canvases and this one which I started for you, and we'll talk about where that's going. And here's the idea behind the canvases, the paintings. There's going to be an auction for Brain Trust. So they're going, they, what they would like to do is auction some of your artwork. So it's like a fundraiser. So this is art therapy. We now offer a group run by two professional full-time um, artists who come in and teach art once a week to our clients. Um, it's all about self-expression and any skill level is welcome. And they can explore whatever art modalities that they enjoy and kind of rediscover the artist within them. You know that painter's tape? You can paint uh, people who like paint their walls, they put the tape along the side and then they can, you know, they can edge nicely. And I've masked off these shapes of trees. So then I've also kind of indicated some landscape and sky behind the trees. It's a, a group of us that are, you know, experiencing different things and can come together and have a lot of fun together and do something productive and it's nice to be able to see what we come up with at the end. So we're going to peel that tape off and then what will appear? Beautiful. Trees, the trees will appear. And it's not going to be a, a really highly realistic painting, but you will recognize trees and landscape and sky. It's really good for fine motor skills, different complex thinking, um, and it's really, really good for self-esteem as well. They, a lot of times they come in thinking that they're not, you know, very good at art, and then they leave thinking that, wow, I'm quite an artist. Especially after sustaining a brain injury, there's a lot of loss that goes on, and um, even just finding those little bits of creativity that they can succeed in and do well in, it makes a world of difference. You gotta put quite a bit of pressure on too because you don't want a lot of wrinkly paper, you want it to be nice and, and flat. At first they were wondering, you know, how am I supposed to create this level of art when I struggle to even maybe write a few words on a page? But because of the, like it's, there's little, very little pressure and they come in and if they can even just draw you know, a little bit one day and then even more the next week and they, their confidence grows on that. We could even do a bit of collage in here too. Just, can you see where I've written sky here? I've just wrote sky. So just so we know when we're painting, this could be, yeah, that's the top, yeah. So if you wanted to use some blues or make it a sunset, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a typical color, so. About 10 years ago, Rhonda was shopping when she started to feel ill and passed out in the parking lot. I had a brain aneurysm, actually, is what I had. I f found out from the surgeon later that it was a real mess. He said I was actually very lucky that I survived. So that was scary. And um, yeah, I lost a lot of my mobility. I couldn't move my arms past here. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't lift my arm. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't do a lot of things. I just want you to get down the underpainting. So that's going to be underneath and that's going to give us texture and interest. I can't return to work. So I'm on long-term disability because of the memory gaps. Like I have no short-term memory. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, you know, what I had for breakfast, <laughs> where I parked the car, like all kinds of things. Like I have to literally write everything down yeah. or repeat, repeat, repeat to keep it into my mind. We don't know which direction it's gonna go yet, so you can keep turning oh, so it and turning it and turning it. Yeah, just Yay. keep, in fact, it's better if you do that right. because then we're not deciding, it's, all, it's, all it's gonna flow. The social setting has proven to be popular with the participants and helps them bounce ideas yeah. off each other. 
They yeah. make friends with the other com people in the group and they each week come back looking for their friends and they invite other people to come and so, so socially it's, it's been beneficial as well. We do have different stories but in the end it's all kind of the same that you know we all have different um, I don't like to say disabilities but I mean different things that you know strengths and weaknesses and how we're affected because of our injury and it's nice to come together and have a group where you can feel like you're not so different that you know these people are like the same and we're accepted and and we can support one another yeah it's great lately since I took over the groups I've really noticed that diving into that holistic approach on in the wellness piece is really important so whether it be through music or through art um, there's a huge healing factor to each one of those things and so I think it ties in with it's just as much important as say healing through physiotherapy yeah, like, yeah. but healing your emotional side like comes through art and music. Yeah, was, yeah the beauty is once we get painting where all those little edges overlap you get some really beautiful uh, effects. Brain Trust has been helping Rhonda with her recovery since she first entered hospital a decade ago. They're very helpful, um, very supportive. They connect you to the different programs and opportunities that can work for you. You know, just being able to have a place to go and to get information, you know, new information that's coming out about the brain and different therapies that are out there and connecting with other individuals who experience similar situations or, or you know, maybe a different situation too, but understand what it's like to go through. Because remember, our next step, we're going to let these dry, and then we're going to paint on top. I've been here for six years, and I've, we've definitely noticed there's been an increase in referrals over the last little while, especially with our different um, drug epidemics and things like that happening. So we're collaborating with a lot of our community partners and kind of getting out what we do out into the community and it's, we, we're really seeing that pick up through referrals. Like right onto yeah. it? Yeah, see what happens. You know, they've just been a godsend to me and everybody else here. You know, it's, I don't know what the community would do without them. And, you know, I, I wish I could be here more. Like I'm here five days a week but it's you know a little group here and a little group there. It's like it's only for a couple hours, and then you're off on your way again. And it's nice to be able to be with other people who understand and get the support that you need. And it feels really good. Yeah. In some ways, with art, you might just say, "Well, I'm going to paint a tree," and you paint the tree. But in our with mixed media, we we work in layers and we build up texture and so on and what we're starting with today is the the collage we call it an underpainting because it's going to be underneath the paint she has some advice for others who may find themselves in a similar situation and looking for help don't be afraid or ashamed you know that's how i felt at first i just thought oh you know mm, yeah. i felt so bad and i didn't want to put myself out there but once i did like it was amazing you know the support and the love that i felt and and the help that, you know, anything I needed, they were there to, if they couldn't help me directly, they could connect me to somebody else that could help me. And, you know, it's, it's just great. And I would, yeah, definitely tell everyone that just reach out and, you know, make the connection and accept the help and it'll be a positive experience for sure.